Oh, there you are. Sure. It was here. Arthur. He had it all the time. Mr. Miller, he'll never let you down. It's so simple. Even you'd get it, Arthur. Well, thank you. Damn parasite! <laughs> Morning, Arthur. I need a word with you, Morgan. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. <clears throat> Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move out. Yeah. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can. 
Once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Nuts tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We've got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know. See? I said we shouldn't bring them. Just talking about something? Yes, I know, Morgan. Coming past. Yeah! Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's gotta keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't even sure if Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine's. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up is just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, you rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. Keep it down now. We're here. Yeah! 
Keep it cool and follow me, fellas. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? So, which one? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? He break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real down. I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn hands up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow 